Hello students, I welcome you to this uh, lecture on uh, compressible flow. Now the study of compressible flow is important in uh, thermodynamics as well as in uh, fluid mechanics. Now what is compressible flow? Uh, it is a type of flow which is characterized by significant change in the density. So whenever fluid flows through uh, over the uh, uh, no, body or through pipe, now if there is a significant change in the density, then uh, such flows are regarded as compressible flow and we have to consider the effects of compressibility under such uh, cases right so most of the gases exhibit compressible flow now these are some of the applications you can see where the study of compressible flow is important now when 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 do we say that the flow is compressible or not now this is a dimensionless number which we uh, call which is Mach number and it is the most important uh, dimensionless parameter in the study of compressible flow. So it is the ratio of fluid velocity at a point to the velocity of sound at that point under the uh, given conditions. Right? Now if this value is greater than 0.3 okay, is greater than 0.3 this is uh, around 0 0.3 0 0.4 if it is uh, crosses this value then the type of flow is regarded as compressible flow so uh, whether it may be incompressible fluid or compressible fluid that means what i am saying whether it may be water or it may be air or any other gas or any fluid which is flowing if this value crosses 0.3 mach number crosses 0.3 then we have to consider the effects of compressibility and that means even water is incompressible water is incompressible fluid but when it flows and uh, if we try to find out the Mach number if it is more than 0.3 or 0.4 then even for water we have to consider the effects of compressibility so that is what we should understand that the compressible fluid and compressible flow also the incompressible fluid and incompressible flow they are entirely different okay so uh, these are some few listed uh, applications where we have to consider the study of uh, compressible flow <clears throat> so this is a pictorial representation where you will understand the significance of mach number so mach number uh, uh, that is what i said around more than 0.3 we have to consider the effect of compressibility mach number equal to 1 so this type of aircraft is designed and greater than one supersonic this type of aircrafts are designed greater than five this type of aircrafts are designed okay because what happens is at uh, higher mag values the uh, the compressibility effects means the drag forces are higher drag forces so we have to consider for those uh, drag forces we have to reduce the drag forces okay now since we have to <clears throat> we are considering Mach number as the ratio of fluid velocity to the velocity of the sound therefore we have to uh, study about the sound velocity and therefore now we will uh, <clears throat> see the derivation of speed of sound okay so propagation of disturbance in a compressible medium now let us see this uh, uh, system a fluid is flowing like this in in a pipe you can consider this as a pipe fluid is flowing this is the velocity it is flowing with a velocity v okay so this is the upstream and this is the downstream now uh, it's a derivation of speed of sound and what i recommend is to follow this derivation uh, there are some textbooks where uh, derivations are not given uh, properly so <laughs> i have seen those things so i recommend you to follow this derivation okay now a small disturbance is created here at the downstream now this disturbance will travel in the in this direction it will try to come towards this with a velocity c so this c is the absolute velocity of this uh, disturbance okay now this disturbance will travel exactly the way sound will travel in a medium so therefore this can be regarded as the uh, travel of sound only okay so what we will do is we will try to evaluate the velocity of disturbance now the velocity with respect to v because the, the what c is here c is the absolute velocity of this disturbance it is traveling like this the relative velocity of this disturbance now this the velocity of this disturbance 
or sound depends upon fluid velocity v so that we will try to evaluate <laughs> now <laughs> let us consider two sections here here the velocity is v pressure is p and this is rho now what happens this side now because of this disturbance how it travels in a uh, compressible flow medium how it travels is by elastic forces okay it is by elastic forces so it will try to compress the fluid and then it will travel in this direction so because of that compressibility the velocity is reduced the velocity is reduced the pressure will increase and the density will increase because of compressibility and that is because of the small disturbance okay so therefore we will have two regions fluid is coming with these parameters and another set of parameters because of compressibility effect now see how we can derive the uh, relative velocity of sound we will be using two equations one is the continuity equation another one is the momentum equation right so continuity equation is the uh, conservation of mass mass flow rate is constant so we can consider a uh, small control volume here we can consider a small control volume like this okay now see here what is written is the velocity uh, rho a v now this is the flow rate this is the flow rate at this side and this is the flow rate at this side but you can see here v plus c is written so this is the velocity experienced by the fluid flow this is the relative velocity experienced by the fluid flow it is v plus c so this is flowing in this direction this is coming in this in this direction so it is the relative velocity so rho a v this is the mass flow rate uh, at the entry of the control volume and here the mass flow rate will be v plus c minus dv because the relative velocity here the velocity will be reduced because of the disturbance so it is v plus c minus dv so rho is rho plus d rho into a into velocity so mass flow rate is constant that is what is continuity equation so if we solve this and uh, we are actually ne neglecting this uh, term this is very small so dv we will get this equation okay another equation we can apply is the momentum theorem it is f equal to mass into acceleration net force is equal to mass into acceleration or net force is equal to mass into change in velocity okay so the net force is see here it is p into cross section area p into a minus p plus dp the pressure is p plus dp into a so this is the net force is equal to m into a or m into dv dv by dt so that we have to write so <clears throat> rho a you can see this is the mass flow rate rho a into v plus c is the mass flow rate multiplied by now this side the velocity is v plus c minus dv relative velocity it is relative velocity it is v plus c you can add plus c and plus c here in this diagram okay so v plus c minus dv minus again rho a v plus c because mass flow rate <coughs> into velocity here is v plus c so this is actually the f equal to m a equation you can uh, later also think if you are not able to understand it is very easy so again from by solving this we get this equation so when we solve the two equations we get v plus c equal to square root of dp by d rho now this v plus c is replaced by a right now here a is the relative velocity of sound with respect to the fluid flow so if v which is the velocity of fluid is zero then a is equal to c okay so therefore the uh, velocity of the small disturbance depends upon v v is zero means what the fluid is not flow flowing it is a static condition stagnant condition only a disturbance is flowing right now uh, from the properties of fluid we have also studied that this dp by d rho can be replaced by uh, the modulus of elasticity right this is the modulus of elasticity e equal to rho into dp by d rho right or bulk modulus this is actually bulk modulus right <clears throat> so therefore we can also write a equal to square root of e by rho now here we have to understand this is the velocity of sound only this is the velocity of sound which depends upon bulk modulus it depends upon the bulk modulus now this bulk modulus is different for different types of uh, you know materials like uh, like for 
gases bulk modulus is less then for liquids and solids so this is how they are related so bulk modulus of solids are much higher than that of liquids and gases similarly <coughs> here the velocity of sound a in gases are lower than in liquids are lower than in solids so it is very evident and we have also this already it is known to us okay so it, it is also evident from this equation okay as e increases a will increase now, <coughs> now see the velocity of sound is a function of pressure function of what change in pressure or change in density also now this pressure and density they are not constant they depend upon the process that means let us uh, see here that if I have a nozzle if I have a nozzle here okay and fluid is flowing in this direction fluid is flowing like this so <clears throat> pressure will reduce and velocity will increase now during this flow from here to here during this flow now whether the temperature that is T whether the temperature remains constant or not whether there is, there is any other process involved that means the change in pressure the change in pressure depends upon the process involved during this flow okay so therefore to evaluate the value of A we should exactly know what type of uh, you know, process is uh, undergoing right so therefore now what we will do is we will try to derive the <coughs> velocity of sound for specific processes okay this is a general equation so sonic velocity for isothermal process you understand so PV equal to P by rho this is for isothermal process uh, I mean sorry PV is actually constant so V is actually 1 by rho right so we will solve this that means uh, if we differentiate rho dp minus p d rho divided by rho square equal to 0 or dp by rho minus p d rho upon rho square equal to 0. So what we will get is dp by rho equal to r into t. So that is substituted here. Okay. So we will be substituting for dp by d rho here and this is a equal to square root of rt. Now if the process is isothermal we will be using this equation to evaluate the uh, velocity of sound or sonic velocity right similarly sonic velocity for adiabatic process for adiabatic process we use gamma which is the ratio of uh, specific heats cp by cb right <coughs> so you see the derivations what we get the ratio dp by d rho is gamma rt okay so steps as steps are easy you can uh, understand so therefore the velocity of sound a we get square root of gamma rt and we will use this equation when the process is adiabatic right now the depending upon the value of Mach number flow can be classified as <coughs> subsonic flow supersonic flow and uh, subsonic sonic flow and supersonic flow right so uh, this is what I wanted to explain in this video and uh, <clears throat> I will be uh, posting few questions related to this particular uh, session and uh, you can easily solve that. Okay. So thank you for watching this video.